guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. Vegetables are one of the most important parts of a healthy bird diet. So for this video, I'm going to share some tips on how to get your bird to eat veggies. So the three most important parts of getting your bird to eat vegetables is how you interact with the vegetables and make it interesting to your bird so that they'll want to eat it. The way you offer and prepare the vegetables for your bird so you can find what your bird likes and that you stay consistent and don't give up. Most of the time, the reason why birds don't eat vegetables is because the owner never tries at all, obviously, or they give up too easily when it seems too hard. You want to be as creative as you can when you're trying to get your bird to eat vegetables and as long as you keep trying, you'll find a way that works for your birds. Starting off with the different ways you can prepare the veggies, your birds might not recognize vegetables as food so you can sprinkle or mix your bird's usual food like pellets or seeds over vegetables or bird chop. And bird chop doesn't need to be too complicated, especially if you're trying to get your bird to eat veggies for the first time. You can start off with maybe three different types of vegetables, preferably different colors, maybe different textures. That way it'll be more enticing for your bird to try. And when your bird picks through the vegetables to get to their usual food, they might even pick up some of the veggies and get a little taste of it, which is always the first step in getting your bird to eat vegetables. When your bird eventually starts eating vegetables, you can then add more vegetables to your bird chop so that they'll have more variety. If your bird loves seeds, you can also try giving them something similar like sprouts or broccoli tips. Sprouts are a lot healthier than seeds and they are packed with vitamins and minerals. If you're not sure on how to get started with sprouting seeds or grains, you can try to find sprouts at the supermarket and then maybe think about giving sprouting a try. And broccoli is really great because the tips of the broccoli are small and they kind of resemble seeds as well. Once you have some sprouts or broccoli tips, you can offer as is or sprinkle the sprouts or broccoli tips onto some vegetables for your birds to try. Birds can be very picky and particular about about how they want their food and will like things a certain way so you can try offering vegetables just as they are or in different shapes, sizes, textures, and consistencies. You can prepare one vegetable to start off with if you'd like and offer it shredded, grated, sliced, diced, chopped, or cooked. Let your bird interact with each of the ways you prepared the vegetable and see which one your bird likes the most. Sometimes birds like to eat bite-sized pieces and others will prefer larger pieces to bite or hold on to while they eat. All you want to do is find what works for your bird and stick with it. If your bird likes fruit, you can try offering sweet veggies like peas, corn, and bell peppers. Peas and corn have round shapes that may be interesting to your birds and you can also cut bell peppers to the same size. This is actually one of the ways that worked for Penny and Pumpkin when they were eating vegetables for the first time and they absolutely love the sweetness of the peas, corn, and bell peppers and they love it so much that they will make sure that the shells or the skins from the veggies are all that's left behind and maybe your birds will like peas, corn, and bell peppers too. The seeds from the bell peppers are also safe for your birds to eat so you can offer that along with the peas and corn. If your bird likes shredding toys, you can try turning veggies into a fun activity. Try threading the veggies through the cage bars, hanging it, or put it into a foraging toy for your birds to shred and bite off. You can also try using bird safe herbs like thyme, mint, rosemary, or cilantro along with your veggies. Herbs are often rich in flavor and their leaves are also different shapes and sizes which can be intriguing to your birds. Sometimes your birds will prefer things hanging and once they start shredding it or biting pieces off, they'll get a little taste of the vegetables or herbs and they might even start eating it which is great. Another thing you can do is lay out some herbs and veggies onto a plate and sprinkle some pellets over it so that your bird will forage through the veggies to eat the pellets and they may even start biting at the veggies too. Another thing that worked for Penny and Pumpkin is baking sweet potato and mashing it and mixing it really well with a bunch of different vegetables. Mixing and mashing veggies with sweet potato will make your bird eat all of the vegetables because all the veggies are mixed together so that they can't really pick out their favorites and they'll get a taste of the other veggies you want them to eat. You also want to remember that offering too much mushy or warm foods can stimulate egg laying in female parrots so keep that in mind and don't offer it too much. So it's important that you not only try different ways to give your birds vegetables, you also want to make it interesting to your birds so that they'll want to try. 
eating veggies. Birds are flock animals and they tend to be wary of new things. So what you can do is lead by example and show your bird that vegetables are safe by pretending to eat the veggie. Once you pick up the vegetable, make sure your bird is watching you and start pretending to eat the veggie or actually eat it and then offer it to your bird. And you want to do this a couple times until your bird takes a bite. If you do actually eat the veggies, make sure you have another piece of veg for your bird to try because human saliva contains bacteria that is toxic to your bird, so you don't want to be sharing something that touched your mouth. And not only can birds learn from you that veggies are safe, they can also learn by watching other birds eat vegetables. If you have one bird that tends to be more interested in trying veggies, focus on getting that bird to eat veggies first and be sure that your other birds are watching so that they'll be intrigued and they'll want to try out the vegetables themselves. Eating together is a flock activity, so another option is to prepare some veggies for your birds and also have your own meal to eat. Your birds will get the idea that it's time to eat and they might be fascinated by the veggies and more inclined to check it out. While you eat together, you can even try hand feeding your birds if that is something your bird likes. You want to try this every time you eat, so every time you're eating a meal or a snack, that way you have more chances throughout the day in trying to get your bird to eat vegetables. Birds also tend to want things that they can't have, so you can use this to your advantage by teasing your birds with the vegetables. Put some veggies onto a plate and start eating from the plate and really show your birds that what you're eating is really good and make it seem like the most interesting thing to you. Whenever your birds get too close to the plate, move it away from them and try not to let them get it right away and then give them a chance to steal or snatch the veggies away from you. And birds will usually want whatever you're messing with so you can even include your birds while you prep the vegetables for them to eat. Feeding time is also really important because you want to feed your bird vegetables when they're the hungriest which is always in the morning and when they first wake up. Sometimes birds will start eating whatever food they have in the cage right before you wake them up so you want to remove any food that you may have left in the cage the night before. It's also really important that you don't starve your bird whenever you're trying to get them to eat vegetables because that is not going to work. If they don't seem interested in the veggies after about an hour or so, give your birds their regular food and try again throughout the day. Getting your bird to eat vegetables can be very daunting, but as long as you don't give up and find what works for your birds, they will eventually eat vegetables. You also want to get organic vegetables if you can, and you want to make sure to thoroughly wash the vegetables so you're getting any residue or dirt off before giving it to your birds. Not all vegetables are safe, so be sure to research a list of safe and unsafe veggies so you know which ones are good and which ones aren't. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe if you haven't already for more bird related videos. Comment down below and let me know how you got your birds to eat vegetables, especially if it was something that I haven't mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!